still wait for you Draw a knife and carve a little space for you It feels nice It's strange Maybe I just So it has been a freaking minute since I have vlogged. I also look ridiculous because I just showered. Today's Monday. I think it's like October 15th. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit down for a little bit and kind of explain like where I've been. Um, just give you guys a life update because I haven't vlogged since the Friday that I ended my week in my life vlog, which was like two weeks ago. So basically like all of last week um, since like Sunday really, I've been really sick um, and I'm still feeling like under the weather honestly and I haven't like been able to work out in two weeks either so I just feel very like bleh and I have two tests tomorrow um, back to back and they're like probably my hardest classes yeah they're my hardest classes and then I also have two projects due for another class on Wednesday that I've yet to do um, I just kind of want to explain last week though so last weekend my mom came just to visit um, on Saturday and Sunday and then she left um, found out on Monday, like Tuesday-ish, that a hurricane was going in the direct path of my hometown. If you guys didn't know, Hurricane Michael hit um, Florida as a Category 4 storm. It was the third strongest hurricane like on record to hit the United States and the strongest ever to hit um, the Florida Panhandle. It was actually like, I think it, two to four miles per hour away from being a Category 5, so it was like actually insane. And it was stronger than Katrina, which is like also insane. So yeah, essentially, um, Tuesday I was nervous for what was coming. A lot of my friends um, that I was talking to from home didn't really take it very seriously because it was category two at the time. And like, I wasn't either, but at the same time, like I knew it had time to strengthen. So I wasn't like taking it very lightly. Um, my dad was out of town for work all of last week and my mom was just home by herself. Um, my grandma also lives in my hometown, so that's nice. But um, my mom went home on Sunday morning after visiting me, so then she was home last week. I don't remember the time frame, but the storm basically strengthened to a category three and they started telling people that they should probably evacuate. Um, and then they started issuing mandatory evacuations and my mom, or my house was in one of those zones. Um, and a lot of people didn't evacuate because they either didn't have the means to, like the money or the time, or they just really like have lived through all the hurricanes that are in my home, have been in my hometown because there haven't been that many, but there have been some bad ones, um, but obviously not near as bad as this one. A lot of people were just like, oh, it's category two, we'll ride it out just like we did all the others. Um, so essentially my mom wasn't going to evacuate, but she ended up going to my grandma's, which was further from the beach because I live cl way closer to the beach than um, a lot of like people in my hometown do. And well, not a lot of people, but like a lot of my friends live like in town. And then like me and a few of my other friends, we live like on the beach side of town. And uh, my grandma lives in town as well. My mom evacuated to my grandma's house, which is like not really evacuating, but my grandma wasn't in an evacuation zone. so. It was fine my dad was getting really frustrated because he really wanted my mom to like leave leave but my mom um we have a dog at my house and my mom had her and she also didn't want to leave my grandma and my grandma didn't want to leave my grandpa and yeah they were just planning on staying at my grandma's and riding it out but um wednesday morning around like 4 a.m my grandpa woke up my mom and grandma and told them that they needed to get out because there wasn't much time left and it had strengthened to a category four. And my grandpa, guys, let me tell you, like he is such a homebody. Like he does not really leave home. He's like a very like simple man. And um, he literally just like doesn't leave home. Like he never even like comes to like m the side of town I live on. Like I can't tell you the last time. It's been like years and years and years since he like 
went to my side of town and it's only like 20 minutes away and he was leaving too so my mom was like this must be a big deal if he's getting out of here because he would sit through like anything they left with my dog on wednesday morning and they came here so um wednesday was a very like crazy emotional like just wild day um my mom and grandma came i was really happy because i had just seen my mom but she was already back so that was nice and then i got to see my grandma for the first time since like may i think so that was nice so they were here and they brought my dog here um but essentially like all tuesday i was very like i was just anticipating like i was just like very worried about the hurricane but like i was still able to get some work done well wednesday i had class at two and like that was all i had like i didn't go because the hurricane was making landfall at like one i think and I like was just like all morning I was just sitting there like waiting on landfall and I was just stressing about landfall and then, like at the landfall time and then like an hour or two after I was just like so like I was just like stuck on the weather channel on Facebook just like refreshing and like trying to see what was going on because I wasn't there and then um, after that I was just like stuck on Facebook looking at the destruction so the storm hit and everyone like assumes that it's gonna be a lot worse closer to the beach that's not really the case all the time and it wasn't this time like the town part of where i'm from and then like a lot of the smaller cities from where i'm from or like smaller areas i don't know what to call them um they got hit so bad like the beach got hit bad too in areas it definitely got hit worse on the side of the beach that i live near than it did on the other end but it was not near as bad as in town and everything i'm not kidding like normally like when you hear of hurricanes i feel like they normally hit like pretty like big cities and stuff so like it only affects portions of the big city but when a hurricane wipes out your entire hometown it's kind of like just numbing like i was just sitting there looking at pictures like all the places that i like grew up and like made memories and were just gone and like seeing them like just gone like it i can't describe the feeling to you guys but it's the most depressing thing and like i've never felt such a painful feeling in my life having to just like look at that from afar and not being able to be there and help because all i wanted to do was go home and help like you guys there were five tornadoes on top of this hurricane like they came with this hurricane and just completely wiped out my hometown and i'm very thankful to say that my home like had minimal damage like literally we just have to get a new fence and then like get some repairs on the roof but like other than that like it's totally fine and we just had like a lot of debris in our yard but I can literally say that probably more people I know don't have a home anymore than people I know who do. The whole time the hurricane was going on, my friends and I were from home were just sitting in our group message and like I was really stressed for some of my friends because they didn't hear from their family for like over 24 hours because all cell service was knocked out, all electricity was knocked out, um, like everything was just like gone. And you guys, it was just literally like all day Thursday, Friday wednesday like saturday sunday i had no motivation to do anything like i have two tests tomorrow and i've like done hardly anything to study for them like i've started studying two days ago but like i was like i couldn't get anything done like i tried editing and like thank god i already had a video mostly edited and i could get it up but like i couldn't do anything i was just so numb and like all i wanted to do was go home and help they wouldn't let anyone back in the town because all the main roads were just like destroyed and like covered in the light poles and everything and no one could get home my mom was here for a little bit but then her and my grandma went and got a hotel somewhere but they left my dog here so that's the other dog you're gonna be seeing in my vlogs for probably like the next week or so um they left her here because they didn't know if they would be able to get a hotel that um allowed dogs since a lot of people had evacuated and brought their pets so she's here with me which i'm loving because i had not seen her for a while so i'm really loving that just kept seeing new videos and new posts and i was trying to keep updated so i could like update my friends and family um they originally were estimating that my whole hometown would be out of power for two months and not have any water for two weeks which is crazy and it literally looks like ground zero and like i've heard it so much worse when you um see it in person and i'm going home not this weekend but the next and for fall break and i'm just like don't know if i'm ready to see it but yeah it's a feeling i can't describe but i just wanted to use it as kind of like i don't know i wanted to like tell you guys like what i got out of this it was extremely humbling i know for everyone um it made us realize everything we take for granted like running water and I, even though i'm not there like i feel for the people that are there um running water electricity like just roads to drive on cars like clothes like taking all of that for granted i am just so thankful that god like protected all of my friends and my friends families and my family because the amount of people that stayed home and didn't evacuate 
was ridiculous. <laughs> I think there were like 18 casualties so far, but that's spread across like a bunch of different states that the storm went through, which is an awful number. And I mean, one, one is too many people, but all I have to say is that it's a miracle that not more people died because I mean, tornadoes took direct hits to hospitals, it took direct hit, hits to home, and people like stayed alive. And no, they aren't done like getting everyone out of their homes and stuff, but still like so far, I don't know, I'm just so thankful and I'm just so thankful that my home's okay and my family's okay and that like my family was there to experience it and the trauma of it. Um, but I just feel so bad for the people who have lost everything and I literally wish I could take some of that off of some of that hurt and some of that loss off of them and bring it onto myself because I just hate watching it. But yeah, anyways, I just really didn't have any motivation to do anything, vlog, like study absolutely nothing because I've just been heartbroken and every morning I wake up and it feels like I'm living in a nightmare because it's the first thing that comes to my mind and just knowing when I go back it's not going to be the same and then knowing that the last time I saw my hometown was in May and I didn't obviously like cherish it or take it all in so it's like I don't know yeah I just wanted to explain that to you guys um I have gotten a lot of like DMs from you guys and stuff and I just want to thank you, thank you all for your thoughts and prayers and just being so supportive all the time. Um, but I did want to say if you ha are financially able to help out, I'm going to, I don't like the, the money donations as much because I don't know what's legitimate and what's not so much about like the Red Cross that's like very sketchy so like I don't really do that but Salvation Army is good but like I will leave links down below for something that I think you guys would prefer doing but um there's like three or four different t-shirts going around that people are making to raise money where 100% of the profits from the t-shirts are going towards um hurricane relief and I've literally bought every single one of them that I've seen so far I've spent like $100 on t-shirts but I don't even care um so I'll leave those linked down below if you guys want to check them out and like help a family I know that lives in Tuscaloosa now that used to live in my hometown um had a family evacuate to them and they took a u-haul back so i was able to go to target and like just load up on a bunch of stuff and then donate that so i'm really happy i was able to do that because i was feeling extremely helpless and i knew i wouldn't be able to take a lot back with me because i would have two dogs and griffin in my car on fall break so that wouldn't really work definitely check out the links down below um anyways yeah i just wanted to tell you guys where i've been i'm sorry that was so long i just wanted to tell you guys evacuate in a hurricane if they tell you to evacuate it's better to be safe than sorry like my family knows that now that they will prepare our home um even if it's just like a category one they're going to prepare regardless of the strength um because it can strengthen so quick i am really sad just because so many of my friends have lost their homes and are just displaced for a while and teachers that i know have lost their homes and like all the schools um took I don't know what it was but like every single school took a good bit of damage besides like a few that i know of and um it's just really sad i feel so bad for the seniors that are having to like just completely pause their senior year a lot of people aren't gonna have like a thanksgiving and christmas that's normal and that makes me really sad but they did say that power is going to be back on for 95 percent of people everywhere by the 24th of october which is much better than two months so definitely thankful for that that's a blessing but like I said, I'm just really thankful that God protected everyone and um, everyone's safe. But at the same time, there are areas in my hometown where people are like looting off people's properties or just going into stores and just stealing a bunch of stuff and taking advantage of the fact that everything's ruined. And they're like getting shot and arrested and stuff. And people are like shooting over food. And it is literally like Hunger Games in some areas. And it's just really sad that there's violence. But I've just been praying for peace. Like throughout the whole hometown like through this but thank you guys for listening to me talk for forever so i'm just going to drink my coffee and continue to work on some stuff because i spent all day working and i have a lot more of studying to do but i have work at 10 and it's like 8 uh 36 right now so i am going to study until i have to go to work and then i'm going to study all at work got up at like 6 30 so i could shower and walk the dogs for a little bit because obviously like molly has a really like bigger dog and she needs a lot more exercise than ella so i've been trying to take them on like very long walks multiple times a day she is extremely skittish though and she's scared of like the hard floors in our kitchen and living room so we have to like lay out towels for a path for her to get into the living room and then my roommate's room um, just because we want her to be able to be places other than here But I have two floor pillows with some blankets down for her as a bed um, And her and Ella kind of just sleep down here at night 
but she's extremely skittish and she always has been but she's been like way worse since she's been here um and it's really like sad because she like won't get on the floor <laughs> and she's been like scared of the elevator and stuff bless her heart but she's so sweet and it's hard because she sheds and ella doesn't so we've been having to deal with that and like my roommate and i both have allergies with it but it's totally worth it I'm about to leave for work. I'm kind of in a hurry, but I'm not really like dressing up or anything, obviously. I don't know why I would. Um, I'm just wearing a Lulu Swiftly Tech and then my Splits 59 pants and New Balances. So that's the fit. guys so I worked um, from 10 to 2 I got a lot of work done but I still have to outline a chapter and a half of finance and study it and I still have a chapter and a half left of practice problems to do for accounting and then I need to finish one of my projects so quite a bit of work to do the rest of the night but I stopped by Fruita on the way home and got lunch as you guys saw and I stopped by swag and picked up my shirt yeah <laughs> oh my god Thank you, Griffin, for the commentary. He just came over. Yep. He had a test today, so he gets to chill, and I'm just sitting here suffering. But, so, this is the Alabama Ann. I'm sure I ordered it forever ago, and you just have to, like, wait on it to get printed and stuff. So I was finally able to pick it up today. I got an extra large because... Do, I have, to, do I have to explain myself? Um, but this is a shirt. I like it a lot, and I got it without all the Greek stuff because originally you could only get game day shirts if you were in Greek life, which is literally the stupidest thing ever. But thanks to swag, they swag. <laughs> they let uh, independents, I guess you could say, order shirts and stuff. So that's really nice because I don't have to get them through friends that are in sororities. So, <laughs> so Griffin picked us up Zoe's after class. I just tried to do this clip and he burped in the camera. So that's disgusting. Um, I got quinoa. Zoe's quinoa is my absolute favorite. Shrimp skewers with zucchini and roasted of veggies. And I took off all the cheese and stuff on the quinoa. And then we have basil pesto hummus. I'm zooming in. I did not know that. I'm like yeah. super stressed right now um, with, with my test because my finance outline, that's what I've been doing most of the day besides this morning. So now I'm just like reworking class problems for accounting, but I have not even gotten to one of the chapters for working problems, which is 